What's good, everybody? It's your girl. Uh, well, hold on, hold on. Let me fix the, the camera. What's good, everybody? It's your girl, Bet, and welcome, welcome back to my YouTube channel, baby. Um, there was a video that I wanted to post as the intro video, but then I just felt like I should share a little bit of the excitement that I'm feeling about um, the um, YouTube launch in a few hours, actually, because I'm dropping it at midnight. Um, so yeah, so I guess this will be the first video to my YouTube channel. I'm super excited and I'm super grateful. And firstly, before I go further into anything, I just want to thank God because he is the one who has been with me from the beginning of this journey all the way through till now. And I also want to say thank you so much to all of my friends who have been super supportive about it. All of my followers as well. There are some people who I don't know in person, but they've been like supportive toward the idea of me launching my video. They seem hyped about it. I'm super excited as well. So it's like, it's one thing to be able to create this content and put it out there, but it's one thing for people to actually receive it well and like show interest, etc. And also it wouldn't have ever happened without God because he's the one who instills all these ideas in me. Oh guys, I'm feeling so hot but it's very content no busan kissed <laughs> so um yeah he's the one who instilled this con this these ideas for me to create etc so it's really beautiful to finally see it come to life you know and see that when god is in like something that you you know one thing about us we can plan but at the end of the day maybe god's gonna be the one to decide so for you to finally see how things are when god is in them like i don't know how to say this but like i've been a person who has done things according to my own understanding for a long time so for a change i'm doing something that i know that god has put in me to do so it, it's different it's just hitting different you can just tell Uti, god is within this project because he is leading he is just giving me the right ideas telling me what to do and it's so crazy how the state uh, of the launch came about i was actually reading the bible and then i just randomly started thinking yeah matter when am i still gonna start putting out content whatever whatever and then i was like i would like for it to be like a friday or a saturday because i think it's a good time to launch on a friday or a saturday right and then um i was like yeah okay let me check the calendar and i was like it was june the time i started creating content so i was like nah man like i think july is a good time for me to start uploading because i have quite enough content by now and then i was like okay i found a date in in july um and i was like okay this is the date i'm gonna start posting whatever and then for some reason weirdly the date first september just popped in and i was like i love september actually you know what i mean i love the month september and then when i went to go and check it was a friday and in my mind before i had started checking for dates i was like i want to upload on a friday or a saturday so it was like definitely god was telling me this so i was like that's the date it's final it's sorted and um what i love about september is just apart from now the global warming and how like tiwa the weather is no longer not the weather the seasons are no longer the way they are whatever but Nina, in primary school, I was taught that spring is in September, finishing plan. So I love spring and I love the whole idea of like um, growth, you know, and I think that is the phase I'm going through right now in my life. I'm just like sort of growing. I'm trying to figure out what I want to do with my life. Yo, guys, I'm 20. I just want to put it out there. But like, it's, so it's like hard to try and figure out like what you want to do with your life, who you are as a person, gee, a lot of things, you know, so um i think september just sort of goes with the phase that i'm going through right now and also i just always loved september because of like how beautiful the flowers and the trees and everything start to look when they start to bloom etc it's such a beautiful sight so i was just like this is the perfect date this is the perfect date Vijay. like i'm not even gonna um argue it or whatever so yeah i'm super excited it's, just an, it's a couple of hours left uh for those who have been following the journey i started putting out a couple of teasers and promos um early august so i like i was just trying to build the hype and everything and i think it's been working truly to be honest again it's because god is in this and yeah so um it's super exciting the time has finally come here <laughs> sorry the time has finally come and it's so surreal one thing though that is has changed is that i created a whole segment where i was talking about like 
a lot of vulnerabilities and a lot of like deep dark secrets that I never talked to anybody about not even like family nothing so like I'm a bit hesitant to put it out there because like I'm thinking of my parents reaction my family how everybody's gonna feel about it and there's like when I was creating it I was like no man you know what like it's high time I put it out there but I'm like yeah sure put it out there but where are you going to live when they kick you out after you put it out there where are you going to stay <laughs> you know it's not like deep stuff like maybe I flip and robbed a bank or murdered a person or I don't know kidnapped someone it's not like deep stuff but it's stuff that have happened to me in my life that I thought it was high time to share and stuff but now I'm a bit hesitant so I guess really like I know what I have to do I've got to pray about it that's all I can do about it but like apart from that there is other content that I've created I remember um when I had my old channel uh I remember uh because I would always like try to hear from you guys feedback yeah well so I'd be like I was like what do you guys want to see more and then a lot of people opted in for vlogs and at that time I felt like there was nothing interesting about my life even now there's really nothing interesting I'm like a indoor girl I don't socialize much my my social life is actually on social media not in person you know what I mean and that's I know it's all shallow and sad and whatever sometimes it is but like I don't think it's like oh are you okay type of thing but so whatever so my life wasn't that interesting i didn't really have anything to vlog about all i could speak of is what is in here because eh, la, na, la, the heart and the mind it's just a lot going on you know so um i was just like how am i going to put on more vlogs people want more vlogs but like how am i going to put on more vlogs there's nothing interesting so now god has given me the craziest opportunities to vlog it's just like randomly somebody will hit me up and be like hey get dressed we're going somewhere and i'm like oh okay this is a good opportunity for me to like vlog something you know what i mean so it's just been so i want to say surreal but i'm not sure what the word means so i'm putting this embarrassed <laughs> guys i need to like read more and stuff like i'm i want to be a smart hand i think i think smart hands are attractive um so yeah uh what was i saying though you see this is just so unattractive but truly it's it's just really exciting it's truly like a blessing a privilege and an honor and you know like I, i'm super excited and i hope that you guys i'm like please tune in on the 1st of september don't think i'm just gonna like launch the channel and then you guys have to wait for content no baby it's like channel content 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 and it's gonna be consistent because i've created quite a number of videos in fact now the problem is figure trying to figure out what to post when because i was thinking that maybe on fridays i could start with like sit down videos but like not just sit down videos about me talking about myself my problems always just coming to dumb problems no like also like um because i have a couple collabs with other creators so maybe like like challenges and like funny videos and whatever so i was thinking maybe i should do that on fridays sit down videos and collab videos and funny videos and discussions among you know and then uh during the week put out a vlog but then i was like no man maybe i should just put out the sit down videos every friday for the next four weeks of september and then um october just start with the vlogs because there's that whole vlogtober season so i thought i'd participate this year in namibia youtuber instagram so you guys can comment down below what you want to see should i um upload sit down videos on fridays and then um during the week i upload uh vlogs or should i just do the sit down content for the first four weeks because that's the first month um it's september and then um in october i start with vlogs like consistent throughout vlogs because also i do want to have like a little variety so that it doesn't get boring you know so i'm as and join comment what you guys think i should do what you guys would want to see because at the end of the day i put the content out for y'all to watch even though it it truly helps me also because it's sort of like a journal sesh or a venting sesh for me to be able to talk about things that i'm feeling share my life i just truly feel like i was never born to be a private hand never ever 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 i've always wanted like and jay apart from being a person obviously like now i i i have like Sometimes I'm going to social anxiety and I feel weird and I feel like people don't think I'm interesting or funny or cool or whatever. I tend to feel that. But truly, from when I was young, I've always loved the idea of being in the spotlight. I've always loved the idea of being like in a center of attention. Not in a, not in a like, 
I, I seek attention in a creepy, weird, annoying way. But truly, like, it's, it's good to be honest with yourself. So I like it when people pay attention to me. But now, I don't know where I really stand as a person, you know? So that's the whole point of growing, is to understand myself. Because do I really still like that? Do I, don't, do I not? Whatever. So it's good to, like, share this content and whatever and put it out there. But also, I am considerate of the fact that you guys are the ones consuming the content so it, it's best for you guys to also receive what you guys would like to see because you guys are the people consuming it um so yeah let me know what you guys want to see let me know what you guys think you know and i'm super excited if you made it to this video if you made it to this video <laughs> comments let's say let's say comment um a flower any kind of flower to symbolize the whole growth thing that we were talking about and yeah super excited and like let me see you in the comments i want to i want to see you i want to know that you were here all right i want to see who my people are and also like share 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 cut your favorite part of the video you can do it and at the bottom there's like a little icon it's a clip i think and then you can clip your favorite part of the video share it to your story share it to your friend like go on whatsapp share it to each and every one of your friends and be like hey did you see this girl on youtube hey did you see this girl on youtube hey did you see this girl on youtube she killed me and your friends must also come here lend the system go do it to their friends let's grow <laughs> and also because like i'm trying to do um content creating like full time because i do feel like that is the one thing that i feel is for me at the moment you know like i'm constantly growing and changing and learning new things about myself and stuff like that so if i i could feel like content is not for me tomorrow you know what i mean but at this very moment at the very least i feel like content creation is the thing for me so yeah uh this is my bread and butter so help me <laughs> help me make it like a sustainable bread and butter okay but apart from it being like my full-time job now it's also like man I, I don't want to lose the fun free aspect of it it is also where i share what i feel it is also where i take you guys along on experiences and stuff like that but i also do want to make it a job make money out of it one day right like because this is what i'm happy doing this is my passion so i feel like if your passion is to put criminals in jail you know and like vindicate innocent people go be a lawyer or a judge that's beautiful that's your passion do that you know what i mean so but me i just want to be behind the lens talking and experiencing and sharing experiences i want to be a kardashian and have everything out there you know so yeah and i don't think there's any shame in it people tend to make it seem like when you're a person who shares every aspect of your life you're just like a cloud chase or you're too much you know like ugh, private hands i could never do with a, i mean public hands or hands who are just all out there and whatever uh -uh, i can't do that and i totally do get it from people whose um perspective is to be a private person and have only specific pers people have access to you and whatever i do get it from your perspective but don't bash it because you don't prefer it you know what i mean now i want the world to know everything not everything everything like there are limits but i do want to be out there i have no problem whatsoever being out there you know and a lot of people make it seem and it is like that you in as much as you're a human some people do take you as content and they they consume you more they they consume your content but some people end up consuming you as a person and i look i notice a lot with other bigger content creators when they're in a relationship or when they break up or when they do this they literally feel like they're entitled us me included feel like we're entitled to know why y'all broke up why y'all did this but it's because we consume you as people we don't consume your content only we literally see a mula now we consume that sounded wrong <laughs> we consume you as people as well so yeah I, I totally do get it from both perspectives but i just feel like let's not um bash people for their talents or interests or passions etc so super excited i'm glad that you made it boo i'm glad and if you watch till the end of the video comment um what can you comment oh okay yeah no just comment the the flower because i already said 
Right. Ugh, now I'm thinking and I can't get myself out of the thought. <sighs> okay, I'm back. So, um, yeah, okay, I mean, I'm burning now. I'm going to go back in the house. I'm so happy that I created content. It's super exciting. So, shout out to you guys and thank you so much for the love and support that you guys, that you guys have shown me. Continue to do so, please, because child is cr- trying to grow. I'm trying to make a name for myself. I'm trying to build, all right? So, yeah, imagine how amazing you'll feel knowing that you were part of helping me grow. Share, like, subscribe, comment. Yeah, cool. Bye.